So in this video, I want to show you a real quick way to maybe make one in Mandela's or give you an idea how to make one. But you'll learn a few other things on uh, in this video. So what I want to do is just come out here and draw a basic shape. So I'm going to make like an oval. And I'll zoom in. I'm spinning my mouse wheel to zoom in. Now I want to take and draw a straight line. Now if you hold your control key down and you draw a line, you notice how it gives you these different angles and stuff like that. Control Z. I want to stop that. Z. Now I just want to draw a straight line. Click, hold the shift key down, click again. That gives you a nice straight line. Now I want to take this line and place it directly underneath this circle or oval. Now I just click vertical center. Now watch what happens. If I click the line first and I click the oval second and I hit this array tool, it made multiple lines instead of the circle. So everything revolved around the, I'm sorry, the oval. So I want the oval to actually make part of my Mandela. So I click it first, then I click the line, then I click the array tool and notice what it did. Now I can add or take away, hit OK. Now if I wanted to merge those, notice when I highlight all of it to merge, it don't give me the merge option. And that's because we still have that singular line in there. Now, if I come in here and I go to merge, you notice that, uh, I'm sorry, merge, you notice how it merged the items together. But that's not what we want to do in this video. So I'm going to control Z, take this all the way out. Now, again, depending on where you place this, so if I place it further down, left or right, it's going to affect that array. So if I place it right here, for instance, and then, so I click the oval first and then click the line, watch what happens when I it gives me this effect. So that's basically what I want to show you is the different effects. So I want to get these two aligned. I'm going to hit center and then I'm just going to click the line. I'm going to arrow it down. And this gap that you see between the end of the line to where it touches the oval is going to be that center part on my Mandela portion. But before I get started this time, I want to double this oval up. So I want to increase it by using this offset tool. And you can change how big the offset is right here. Now I want to merge those two. Now watch what happens. Click my oval, my line. Click my array tool. Now I want to decrease the number that I have. And I don't like that gap. I want a little bit bigger gap. So I'm going to pull this down. We'll make sure we're centered since I just pulled straight down. Click the oval first. Click the line. Click the array tool. Reduce the number again. And I, I'm not liking how that looks. So I'm going to shorten my line up like this. See how this turns out. And I kind of like that. So I'm going to keep that one. Now I'm going to reduce the number that I have. Hit OK. And I'm going to remove that line because it won't let me merge unless I remove it. And I drag from bottom up. Now all I got to do is barely touch. And then it highlights everything. Then I'm going to merge them. So now I have this effect going on here. So when you see these people make these, they have a frame. So we're going to create a frame. And the frame we're going to make, it's going to be 7 by 7. So I put 7... Make sure the padlock's turned off, and 7. And like we did before, I need to have the frame, so I want to come here to this offset tool, and I've made my frame. Now, again, just drag barely up, and I can group those together. Now, being I have the two of them, I just want to put that right in the center. Okay, so now I've got this created, and I want to create that depth. So what I can do is I want to keep this frame. So control D and just move it off to the side. And I'm going to change it to a different color like a bluish purple. Now I want to do something with this inner portion right here. So I'm going to go to this offset tool again. And there I just offset it, but it's a little bit too big. So I'm going to bring it down and hit OK. So I'm going to click the one I just offset. And I'm going to move it over here to this one. And 
just to save time, click off of it, highlight both, and hit center. So it's centered up. Now I want to change this to that same purplish blue. I want to highlight both of those, group them, and we'll highlight both of these and group them. Now I just simply click both of them and center them. And you can see those are my layers. And um, it's as simple as that. And you can continue to mess around with it and make different designs. But I hope that helps you out.